Hi guys, this is Isabella Shabby Hippie again. Um, welcome back to my channel. If you are, um, if you're still here with me, I just finished um, showing you the first part of the journal, and um, now I'm going to try to edit and put both parts together. But I don't know if that's going to be able to happen or not. So we'll see. But anyway, yes, yeah, so here's the second signature. So this is the second part of the video. Um, this is the inside of the first page there, okay, where I stenciled, um, there's stitching, there's appliques, there are little buttons there that I added to this, okay, I'm just trying to show you there, and then, uh, this one is coffee dyed, a coffee dyed, um, what do you call that? <laughs> Doily. Another little uh, journaling spot there. Okay, more stamping, um, more stenciling and stamping, torn pages. Uh, we also have uh, avocado dyed lace. Um, we have this beautiful applique. We have this other journaling card. Oh, there goes that butterfly again. I guess I should um, glue it down. So you know what? Yeah, I think I'm going to cut off that backing and then just glue it down because I wasn't sure, but now that it keeps falling, now I think I'm, I'm just going to do that. So here's this, uh, the next spread here. It is uh, another envelope. This envelope was uh, avocado dyed. The in the first in the first signature, the other envelope was coffee dyed. This one's avocado dyed. Um, I believe I used the same stamp and another uh, stamp, <laughs> stamp and stamp, <laughs> and then a little bit of trim here. Okay, and then there's this really pretty uh, trim up here and then this here is a little belly band just in case you want to hide a note or something now the bad thing here is that um, I had no idea that I was that this book was going to turn out so fat so um, it's a little hard to get in and out it's not impossible as you can see so um, this is also from Sweet Pea Curiosities and so it's not impossible to get in and out, but you just have to make sure that the book is on a flat surface um, and that you can, so that you can open it as wide as possible. Uh, and that's why I made this little indention here so that you could just, you know, get in and out. Um, there's a little bit of foiling there, more stenciling, more stamping, more foiling, more stamping. Um, let me bring it up so you can see the page closer okay. all right so we have that and then in here we have another love letter and then this is a piece of fabric that I had from something I think it was a vest or a ja some sort of a really dressy jacket um, and I had bought it precisely to use for journals. Uh, had bought it was brand new, but it was I had bought it at the um, thrift store. So and then I just adorned, adorned it all the way around with the uh, gold flatbacks, and I also added this really sweet lace. And then inside, I added another love letter that I uh, distressed a little. You know, this wasn't a, as distressed as the other one, but it was a little distressed as well. And so that just goes in here. Okay. There we go. And then here, all I did was I added this little trim here. Um, yeah, that's it, I think. Yeah. And then here we have another uh, one of those pocket flips that I did with the book pages um, so again I shrunk the image and 
I distressed it, I sewed around it, I glued it to the book page, and then I made this little um, cluster here with some crinkled uh, fabric, which is the same type of fabric that I have up here and down here. Um, so I did that. Let me bring it up so you can see. Um, hopefully, because I know it's hard. I'm so sorry. Um, so then here, I added this really pretty um, old postcard. It's a, another, it's a real one as well. It's from August 10th, 1940. And um, I just thought it looks so beautiful with the, um, I think these are cherry blossoms, possibly. No, maybe not. No, I don't know what it is. But it says, this is actually pretty close to where I live. Um, I live in Pennsylvania, and then this is Mountain Rodon, oh, there we go, Rodon Duran, which is that flower right there, in bloom. Uh, this is in Pocono Mountains, PA, so this is uh, about two hours from where I live. And so that is a very nice piece of ephemera there. Um, here I used some trim, and I added this seal with um, some coffee dyed cheesecloth. Um, this is a book page that I turned into a tuck. Um, so there's several to make it sturdy. Um, and then you can write on here, here, and then lift these up and write some more underneath. Um, and then I added these, um, the rose ribbon on both. And then behind it, there is, um, Mm. Sorry, I'm starting to get a little hoarse here. Um, a, le a piece of ledger. Okay. And that just tucks underneath there. <coughs> Sorry, this tuck goes back. And then here we have this little tuck here. Okay. And um, with a flower. And then um, this is a little belly band here with fabric, or not fabric, um, ribbon and paper and then inside I have this cute little heart that I made it's tucked in there and then I stitched it by hand and there are two tiny little X's in the middle I'm not sure if you can see them and then I added this little um, dangle there as well so that just tucks in here and so I have it so that you know, the little butterfly dangles down the side. And then this is also some lace that I added um, to this page. So that that's that. And then this here is a, a little uh, tuck that I created with this frame and this piece of paper. And then I just tucked this in, in a way that, you know, it shows those two flowers there the two roses so of course you can put anything else in there but you know that's what I did and here is um, another printout of this old ad um, some lace this is a sticker here this is a cut apart um, that I fussy cut and uh, distressed a little with inks and then in there I added another uh, card journaling card with another um, spot to write on and then here is a tiny cluster with some gold trim that was just lying on my desk while I was doing this and then a little piece of or a little bit of the um, what do you call that thing? the uh, the, the little rose trims. Okay, so, and then we have some dyed lace, again, avocado dyed lace. And then here we have, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, I believe this came from my other friend, Daniela, who also sent me a package before Christmas. And it's either from her or from Lena, but I'm pretty sure it's from Daniela. And then we have... Um, more stenciling and script stamping there. OK. 
Okay, so there's that. And then we have this little page here to journal on. And then here we have this little fussy cut flower. Um, and then I just added this. This is from Marissa's uh, Sweet Pea Curiosity. And this is from one of those stores that we all buy from that I can't remember which one right now. So I just kind of tucked that in there. And here we have another gorgeous uh, lace. Uh, so we have the script stenciling. We have this other stencil. We have the lace pocket with lace, other different lace trim. Um, we have this uh, applique. And then we have this beautiful tag that I had also shown before. Um, there's a little bit of gold foiling there as well. And it's sewn around and it has this, um, I believe this, this lace is vintage if I'm not mistaken. And I had, I think I had coffee dyed and I don't remember how I did this one, if it was coffee and avocado or if these were, I think this was coffee dyed, but then I stained it with ink, I believe. I can't remember now. It's just, things just, there's so much. Um, here we go again with this other, bring it up so let me see if you can see it. Um, so we have this flower and I added this cabochon, which I, um, added gesso to it because it was just it wasn't the right pink so I was trying to tone it down and I feel that it did a, that I got uh, that I got it right anyway so um, here is um, more foiling I actually even stamped on some of these pages here this is script stamping so is this and here I just thought it, they were a little bit too plain so some of them are stamped but I forgot to look <laughs> and point it out um, and then this is a piece of that fabric that I did the belly band with and then this is the center spread for the second signature so oops this is how it looks and so all I did was I stenciled and I stamped then I added these hearts um, these hearts, no, it, I was going to say, I think they were from that shaker that I did, but I'm not 100% sure if I can, I don't even know where it's at now, but, oh, here it is. No, so I, I don't know. I don't think, I don't think it was from here because they're different size hearts, but anyway, so, okay. So I have these stoppers these here as stoppers and um this gorgeous lace i have the other um dangles that i had made and then we have this gorgeous card that i had or tag that i had made and i also did some gold foiling there and this polaroid also, okay, right there, and then another one of those clusters uh, from the snippet roll that I had done. See, there's more script stamping here, um, and more script stamping here, this pretty little lace, and then I used this as a, I backed this because this is paper, and I backed it onto cardstock and I used it as a tuck for this which I had also done on a tutorial on um, and I, I just added this tiny little postcard <laughs> so I'm not sure I think this was a stamp that I had if I'm not mistaken I can't remember anymore but I'm pretty sure I have this stamp and and then this as I said you know uh, you guys had seen me do it on video hopefully anyway. And if not, you can just search through my BB craft videos and you'll see it. And, um, here's another fabric flip or lace flip, I guess I should call it. So, um, there is, uh, this other trim up here and then there's another little flower, um, 
transfer. Um, then this this uh, lace here was some that my friend Kathy sent me, um, which was a recent. It was probably the most recent video I I did, or one of them, one of the most recent ones. So that there's an unboxing of of things that Kath, Kathy from uh, Kathy Clements. Uh, wait, that's not her channel name. Is Kathy by Design sent me. Uh, and then so here I added this little um, tag that I made and I did a tuck there and I added one of these little tiny tags that came with the kit okay and there's more foiling there as you can probably see um, and then I added this applique there's stenciling there's this other trim um, so she gave me this one, but this this I had in my stash, and then this is from my stash as well, and so is that. Um, so that just tucks in there, and here we have the next page. Let me see if I can find something to raise this. Hang on here. Uh, let me see if this will raise it enough. Let me put this little, just trying to get it so that you guys can see it better um but so this is an envelope that i made with book page and um if you don't want to have it with the flap coming out like this you can tuck it inside and you can even close it because i made this little i put this little stopper in there where this you know just slides into it like that so you can use it that way and if not I just left it out so you can see that there was something there and then I added a couple of things here another journaling card and another journaling spot and I did um, ink all the way around the edges and I sewed the whole envelope together so now this will just sit in here if you so desire this is another little fussy cut flower and I just put one of these little papers uh, in here uh, which you can write on this is another ad uh, that I have and um, oh another thing that I did I don't know if you can tell let me bring it up because I forgot to mention this before I don't know if you can tell that this has like some pink shading um, I did lightly color this with uh, ink okay so um, and there is I just don't know where it's at now but yeah I don't, I don't know where it's at right now but oh here so very lightly colored with uh, pink pink ink pink ink I think I only did that one in this case I'm not sure if that's what it looks like but and I think I did it on the other signature as well. Um, here is just a cute little um, ruffle with that crinkled with that crinkled um, fabric, and then some pearls. And then when you turn this around, uh, this is why I had this here. Yeah, I'm Amber now. <laughs> so this is this goes like this. Okay, right there and this is the other side of the handmade paper and then in here this is a pocket that I made out of tool and the outside of the fabric where I cut this little piece this little heart out that is this so I used the negative part and sewed it on hand stitched it on here and then I also sewed on, sewed on the two little X X's in the middle of the heart Let's see if you can tell and then I added this little um, applique and um, this image came from a book that I have it's an old book it's not antique I believe or or vintage it might be vintage um, but I had that and I cut it I just thought it went perfect there and then this here is some coffee dyed filter uh, 
that I scrunched up and added to the side. And this idea, although I have done something similar before, but um, Dodie from Dodie from Dorothy Jane. Oh my goodness, I can't. Re I will hopefully try to remember to add her but she she does this all the time this sort of thing she uses the coffee liners in all of her projects and it reminded me that I had that I used to do that as well just not as pretty as she does but she oh my gosh she's wonderful so um, I have this and more stenciling more printing more sewing more distressing oh and then um, this is one of those little Polaroids, but I cut it to make it look just like a, a picture because I didn't want it sticking out of the top here. So that goes in there, darling. And we're almost finished, guys, believe it or not. So here all I did was add that little applique there. And then here there's stenciling and um, script writing and then I also have this piece of lace here okay which I think had been coffee dyed I, I can't promise you I know I've had it for a long time but I think I had coffee dyed it in the past and I just want to point out that it does have some you know some tears so it is pretty old um but I just thought it added to the character. So I don't know, because this is like a semi grungy romantic journal. So <laughs> shabby chic. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. Semi grungy, shabby chic, romantic journal. There we go. Goodness gracious. So that just flips to that side. And then here we go again. So here I use this gorgeous band. I wanted to use it so bad. Through, I kept picking it up all the time, trying to use it in the journal, and I never found the spot. And I'm like, you know what? I think I'm just going to make it into like a little side tuck. Finally got to use it. Um, so let me bring this up further so you can hopefully see it. And then I just added this little piece of um, paper uh, journaling spot there. And then we have um, the script stamping. And then here we have that gorgeous lace that I used as a flip up on, I think it was the first signature. And then there's script stamping and other stamping, I believe. And then this other little tag that I made, um, which is a, what am I trying to say? Uh, that I, oh, that I think I had either made this I don't think I made it on video. I think I just showed it on video before. But yeah, it's got the, this, de this one is definitely vintage lace and I'm almost out of it and I'm so sad. <laughs> but, oh my, cause I don't have a lot of vintage laces. I, I really wish I did. I have some, but not as much as other people that you can just say, oh, this is vintage. This is all vintage. <laughs> but no, mine are, are not all vintage. Um, so yeah, this this piece here is, I think it's from Marissa at Sweet Pea Curiosities, but I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, distressed that with the ink, and I, uh, the way it, it, I cut it the way it was in the in the image, and then I laid it on top of this tag that I made, and which also has the, um, the foiling, and I added the really pretty, um, uh, seam binding ribbon and okay so there's this oh my gosh the clouds are really coming out now um this is from another jacket brand new that i had bought at the thrift store just for this type of work and there's more script stamping and the stenciling and then another little piece of lace flower and then this is also very old. This is from 1904. This is real, and this is um, this is exactly how it. What, I didn't do anything to this other than take it out of the book. But this is from an old um, almanac that I have. So, and it's 
I did it because it has the oh see you can see the date right there it has the month of February and this is when I was well I've been working on this since right after Christmas it took me literally took me over two months to finish this book or to make this book I should say and this is also um, very close to where I live let me see here um, I, I know that I saw some Corner Franklin that's in Philadelphia uh, Elizabeth, New Jersey that's about an hour and a half from here um, I don't know I can't right now I really can't read I can't I can't see what it says because the writing is small and my eyes are bad uh, uh, yeah I can't I can't really see but it does say I think 1664 16 oh what the heck wait a minute 1664 16, 1665 events in the history oh in the history of Elizabeth so Elizabeth is yeah um, not that far away from here so that's the last page and then this is the back cover and then this here is another book page um, that I made into a pocket and I collage the papers inside and then these here are just all a whole bunch of stickers that I had from one sheet and I decorated it with them and I used the word believe I added this Polaroid and I also added this little sheet up here um, as another journaling spot and that's what that looks like so my goodness it is it has gotten so dark here now but I hope you got to see everything let's see here it was there there we go and I hope you got to see everything I hope you like it please let me know in the comments what you think um, and this will be in my Etsy when store when you see this so um, I hope you all like it and let me know if you think I should have done something different or not um, it's uh, I like it I showed it to my daughter last night when she came over to see me and she fell in love with it she goes mom I think this is one of your best yet <laughs> she says that every time I show her a new journal but <laughs> she's so funny um but yeah so I hope you all like it and uh God bless you all thank you for watching especially if you stayed this long with me thank you so very much I really appreciate your time and um and your friendship so thank you again and I love you all take care bye-bye